I, the, the baby formula shortage, I got it all figured out what happened, okay? I saw a story last week. Even though my daughter's 23, I remember the days of baby formula. And there's two different kinds of formula. There's the liquid pre-made and there's the powdered. The powdered is cheaper, but not all babies can have it. My, we were giving my daughter the powder because, you know, we didn't have a lot of money and it was cheaper, but we had to take her off of it because she couldn't digest it. A lot of babies can't digest it. It causes constipation and other problems. The shortage is only with the liquid pre-made, not the powder. There is no shortage of powdered baby formula, only the liquid pre-made baby formula that comes in the cans. And what I think, I know, this is just my suspicion, okay? But I got a little bit of common sense, um, just a little bit. I believe the federal government has bought up mass, the, 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 the pre-made canned baby formula for the illegals at the southern border that are coming by the hundreds of thousands in the sh in the shortages because of that. That's my belief. It's true, and that never came out. That's what I think happened. Uh, I think it's obvious. The government, the federal government, they have they have hundreds of thousands of people coming across. They have babies and babies on the way. And when I when I realized that there was no shortage of the powder, only the liquid, the government. They don't care about the difference in price, and they don't want the added labor of having to mix the formula. And I, and I think they've done massive buys by the federal government. Obama did this with ammunition. Remember there was an ammunition shortage because the federal government was buying up the handgun ammo. Check this out. It's, it's only my working theory. Nobody else has talked about it or speculated on it. I've been talking about it. <clears throat> I, 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 I guess if I can talk to the uh, buyer for the federal government, <clears throat> I think that's what it is. And nothing could convince me that that's not the case. And we don't have one person in the net. I started talking about this about a week, week and a half ago. There's not a, makes sense. Clever fellow. Mm. And not one person in the media has even asked this question, these endless discussions about it. I, it, it, it. When they said there was no shortage of powder, it made sense to me. That's what it is, you know? And, um, it's another example of the Biden regime putting others first and Americans last. I mean, but this is the most outrageous. If, if it were true. Yeah, it's true. True. This would be the most outrageous example of incompetence and I guess you'd have to say dishonesty uh, that's come so lights. Well, P, uh, I've seen these stories. You've seen the stories on TV. Mothers are rationing the baby formula. You know, so b that means babies are going hungry needlessly. The, the powdered formula is not digestible for all babies. Let me ask you another question. Do you think it's possible, if your theory were right, <clears throat> do you think it's possible that it would escape the notice of the national media? Yes. Because they don't think like us, Steve. Yes. Yes. Confess I didn't come to me. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've, I've been talking. I talked about it on the show one day last week, but you were off that day. And, um, and um, no one in the media has even speculated on that. I would bet you anything. Of course, we live in uh, Donald Trump's backyard here. If anybody has Donald Trump's ear... You ought to check that out. It, well, uh, pre you know, they listen to this program up at Mar-a-Lago. Um, and I'm telling you, it's a big scandal. And um, the biggest shortage of the – remember, there's no shortage with powdered baby formula, only the pre-made liquid. And most of the shortages are more out west, which is where the – where they would be doing the big supply buys. You know, and um, that's – I mean, that's – I think that's a very, very credible theory as to what the problem is. Well, somebody will do it and uh, get credit for it, for my thoughts and get an award for it. But it was it was heard here first. I'm do well. We're we're on three radio stations. We're on YouTube, iHeartRadio, and everything else. And there are hundreds of thousands of people listen to this program. So uh, we're doing it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, that's what do you want me to do, Steve? Get by, get the White House on the line and ask them if they bought the baby formula. <laughs> Who is the guy? Who, uh, who is the guy that drove up? He's one of the Fox people. Tucker. 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 Get get that story to Tucker. Tucker will. Okay, and and get credit for my 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 thing. That's fine. 
he wouldn't be the first to take. He would, well, it, it, well, if it's your idea, who gets the credit can be important. You know, the credit's not important if it wasn't your concept. If what Brian Craig just surmised is true, this is a major, major news story. And the amazing thing is that uh, Brian, the co-host of the Steve Kane Show, he used deductive reasoning to figure it out. It, it sure makes sense to me, but... You know, uh, I'd, I'd like to see uh, some investigation into this, but uh, uh, it's like Brian Craig is the Sherlock Holmes using deductive reasoning. He's like the Sherlock Holmes of uh, current events. So what I'd like to see is for some reporter out there to act as more than a stenographer for the Democrats. I'm looking for a reporter out there that dares to ask the uh, officials in government if if it's true if the federal government has been buying up supplies of liquid baby formula I mean uh, you know you know don't 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 be lackeys uh, you uh, mainstream media out there just ask I'm just asking just one reporter willing to ask about this uh, situation by the way, uh, Brian was talking to, uh, that was Steve Kane he was talking to. Steve Kane uh, does broadcast the show from home. Brian was in the studio. Now, just a little interesting backstory, personal backstory to this. I was listening to the show this morning, the Brian Craig show, and there were about 20 minutes left. And I, at the time, I really was thinking about an audio book, a really terrific audio book I was listening to. I, I, I don't want to get into and I was really anxious to get to it, so I was thinking, yeah, you know what? There's only 20 minutes of the uh, Steve Kane show left. Maybe I should just switch over and listen to the audio book. But then another voice in my head says, no, wait. You never know what pops up on the Brian Craig show. Don't care if there's 20 minutes late. Something very significant could happen. That was a voice in my head. And, and by golly, like a couple of minutes later, what you just saw... That's 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 what Brian was talking about. Just two minutes after I had that thought of maybe switching to my audio book, so I was glad I stuck to it. Um, I listened to him. It's six to nine a.m. Eastern time, weekdays. Uh, you can get him on iHeartRadio all over the world. He has callers from all over the world. But th this was absolutely amazing to me. Well, somebody will do it and uh, get credit for it, for my thoughts and get an award for it. But it was it was heard here first. Not if I can help it, Brian. You're gonna get. I'm gonna make sure that you get the credit for it, which is the reason why I'm doing this video. You you get the credit. It was an amazing job. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, you should. If this turns out to be true, you should really win a Pulitzer. In fact. Uh, one of those reporters that got got a Pulitzer for uh, for the uh, Trump Russia collusion uh, fake news. They should they should if they had any sense of self respect they should turn in their uh, their Pulitzer and and hand it over to Brian because this is if it turns out to be true uh, this is absolutely amazing. Well, see y'all later.